Singapore? That's right, today we're building Singapore. It's a Lego skyline. It's Singapore. It's a whole bunch of iconic buildings. Starting with the Marina Bay Sands, the OCBC Center, Juan Raffles Place, the Boat Quay, the Fullerton Hotel, Loop House Sat, hope I said that right, and Gardens by the Bay. It's a fun time. Let's get to building. And here's a piece I've never ever seen before. It's a two by three with a hole in it. The more you know. And a Lego architecture piece wouldn't be complete without the little placard telling you what you're building. Singapore. We are building Singapore today. Check out this Lego cleverness here. Instead of just sticking buildings onto the base plate, we've got these pins and various ways of attaching the buildings so they don't fall off. It's a neat little thing that they do in these architecture sets. Our first fun fact of the build, according to the instructions, the Singapore River stretches almost the full width of the model. The more you know. So here we have the base mon. We have the full base. It's not a mills plate, but it's pretty darn sturdy. There's a lot of plate on plate action going on here. And like I said, we have the Singapore River. We've got some little guide posts. We've got some, some tiles that are green, hinting at some floral design, some more urban looking gray tiles. It is an interesting base and it's definitely sturdy. Let's start on bag two. And it's a tiny house. We're beginning work on the boat quay. This was an area that was restored in the 90s and is a series of bustling shops. Here we've begun the building of Lu Pao Sat. Again, I hope I said that right. This is a giant food court made out of a lot of cast iron that came from Glasgow, Scotland. I feel like a travel guide. More double-decker housing of the Boat Quay here at the mouth of the Singapore River. And here we have the Fullerton building. This used to be a government building, which back in 2001 became a five-star hotel. This building once dominated the Singapore skyline. It, you will soon see many much larger buildings taking over. And speaking of towering skyscrapers, this is the OCBC Center. In 1976, this was the tallest building in Singapore. It is a 
very solid piece of Lego too. There's a lot of weight and heft to this. We are going to put it on our sweet, sweet design and make the Fullerton building look small and tiny in this growing metropolis. Exciting stuff. This is going to clip into those unique uh, anchor points that were put onto the base. It's just going to snap right in and it'll, it'll be very sturdy because of that. One raffles place seated in the heart of the financial district. Fun fact, this building is really tall. It was really repetitive to put together, but guess what? The real one is made with chemically treated aluminum alloy, which changes colors along with the, the light it reflects. It's gotta be a sight to see. After I do this video, I'm gonna Google it to see what they're talking about. It clips into these two places in the base, which will ensure its so sound structure. And there it is. I purposely held off from revealing the full build until now. Behold, Singapore. We just built the Marina Bay Sands. Marina Bay Sands was built back in 2010. Everything else was like 80, 70s, 80s, and 90s. Marina Bay Sands is an impressive three-story resort with a sky park up top that features an infinity pool and gardens. And speaking of gardens, we also have down below the Gardens by the Bay, which I hear is a very impressive sight of towering super trees. And it's great to see in the daytime and at night. This is Singapore, guys. This was a very cool set. Um, let's just take another look at it. 
we've got so many cool buildings. I didn't know much about Singapore until I started building this set, and I think that's what's really cool about these LEGO architecture sets, is you get to learn stuff about what you're building as you're building it, or, you know, afterwards. So, yeah, I highly suggest this set. If you, the, Singapore is one of the bigger architecture sets, you know, if, if you've um, built London or the New York City skyline, you know, they're, they're impressive. They're, they're, they didn't take that long to put together. This one took me a while, and there were some really cool techniques involved here. Um, the skyline on, um, you know, Marina Sands, Marina Bay Sands was a series of hinges and you had to pay attention and make sure you were building it right. It was a lot of fun. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Tell a friend, give a like, throw down a subscribe, and I will see you next week. Bye bye